Hey guys, in the ThinkPad forums, this is a quick view at the uh, PE3A adapter. I don't have the video card for it yet, uh, but I do have the adapter and it does function. I figured I'd show it to you uh, since it's got a USB 3 port on it as well as the uh, PCI Express port. I figured I'd show it to you before I get the video card, which I'm not sure when it's going to come in. It's supposed to. Uh, there's some confusion about when it's actually going to arrive, but it, it'll probably be here next week. So, uh, here's the adapter. It's plugged in. I've got a uh, a um, USB drive plugged into it. It's a 2.0 drive. It's a little Corsair drive. I don't have any USB 3 devices, so I can't really test the USB 3. And I thought it was going to ask me to install a driver when I plugged it in, but it didn't. So it does work, and I don't know how, but uh, I guess it does work. And if you actually plug in a USB 3 device, maybe it'll ask you for a driver at that point. I'm not sure. But anyways, I've got the uh, Lenovo X201 i7 core 620M. Um, I've got uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Uh, I kind of cut out recording this with the iPhone. <laughs> so I've got 8 gigs of RAM in it. I don't have the touchpad. I do have the camera though. I've got uh, a Blu-ray drive plugged in, into it with an external sound card as well. And I've also got like a Microsoft cam, one of those like high def cams, plus a ViewSonic monitor plugged into it, uh, to the laptop that is. So I just wanted to show you uh, the, the, the actual device. Uh, right now, it's being used by a VM. So I've got Ubuntu on that little USB device, and I booted into the VM um, from the USB device. So I'm going to show you. This is uh, Ubuntu over here. So I've got it, you know, running. And this is like Logic's, what, Logic TV's dot com's review of the X201. I don't know, I don't agree with what they say, but that's that's okay. Here's I'm just showing you that it does work. So if you can see uh, this little here one second this little thing right here is the uh, actually the Corsair thing. The X201 doesn't even get the new keyboard from the Right. So it's playing a YouTube video right now on the web browser on a VMware player. So the USB device part does work. I've been using it for uh, for at least an hour now. And I actually played Dirt 2 with the uh, Xbox controller, which I got right here. So that was... Uh, that was pretty cool that it actually it never didn't fail or anything. I didn't have any installation issues. So that works that works really well. I'm not a serious gamer. I am going to uh, show Dirt 2 with the frame rate and everything. Um, I got uh, this is the first time I've ever used Fraps. I'm going to stop this. This is this is the first time I've ever used Fraps, so uh, I'm gonna see if I can't do a good review of the uh, of the P3A with a video card and Fraps and Dirt 2 compared to like the Intel chip, you know, video chipset or not chipset, uh, the Intel graphics that come with the uh, X201, at least the one I've got. Um, so uh, the next video that I'm gonna post is probably gonna be uh, just the frame rate of Dirt 2 on my X201. I'm not going to stop any of the services or anything like that. I'm just going to run it as a normal user would run an X201 with Dirt 2. So I'm not going to do any, I'm not going to cheat, like, you know, turn off the display. I'm going to have both displays on, like, the laptop and the, the desktop display. And I'm not going to, like, uh, you know, edit the the config file for Dirt 2 manually. It's going to be what Dirt 2 would have provided for you. You can change the in-game settings and that's about the only thing I'm going to do with it. So I hope you enjoy it. All right.